Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video it's going to be me versus Deadly Hunter on the map of choice. Uh, oh, the map of choice will be Bottleneck. Alright, now before we start, please do give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to all notifications so that you will not miss an upload or stream from my channel. And of course, by the way, resistance is too fast, right? Hmm, okay. Let, let's see. Alright, let's see how this plays out. Because resistance is too strong. Alright, let's go. Okay, here goes. Battle is now loading up. Okay, and so I'm going to be on the left side of the map and Deadly Hunter would be on the right side. Okay, now there it goes. We're gonna have to fast forward a bit. Okay. There it goes. Nothing crazy. We're just going to collect those containers. This can be seen right there. Okay. I'm going to have to collect the containers. Collecting, collecting containers. Okay, nice. Good, good. Got most of the containers, or pretty much 50 50. Okay, anti air right here. Okay, hiding or hidden some infantry right there. Killed that scout right there. Hidden some infantry also over here. And then I'm going to have this scout right here. And as you guys can see, it got like four, seven. Okay, got like seven supply centers. Okay, now going to scout uh, Deadly Hunter's base. See what he have. Okay, going level 4 HQ. Okay, 2 anti-air right there. Vertex destroyed my coyote. And uh, pretty much that's it. Okay, now he has Vertex out before I did. And then uh, going level 4 HQ myself. I got like 30 anti-air also. So pretty much it's the same. Okay. And now I'm going to add one more power plant right around there. Okay. Let's fast forward a bit because... Uh, Okay, we're gonna have to skip to the good part. And then I'm going level 5 HQ. Okay. Level 5. Adding more anti ear. Anti ear again. Then the hawk. Okay, we're going to scout his base now. Let's see what will happen around here. Now, keep in mind, guys, that I'm going to add anti ear because 4 vertex is enough to destroy the nuclear. Whereas four hawks cannot do the same to a space system with two anti-air. Okay, just giving you guys a heads up on that. Okay, here goes I think that's gonna be like a scout onto my base. Let's see now. Okay, and uh-huh, there's like this another scout right here. Okay, I, I almost got the resources for a nuclear, which is I'm going to build right around there. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to have to somehow check his base. Uh-huh. Okay, gold scouting boost has been used for uh, three vertex now. Okay, and uh, space system also being used or being prepared. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, because resistance is too strong. Okay, so yeah. Alright, let's fast forward a bit again because uh, this is too much epic. Too epic indeed. Okay, and now I'm saving for the uh, the nuclear now. Okay, here it goes and space system now being made before I get to have my nuclear because nuclear does require more to the launcher, which is 1,500. And now I'm going for a nuclear, which is going for 2,300, which is much expensive. And yeah, resistance imba. Yay! Erased everything. Resistance Imba. <laughs> okay, that's it. GG on that part. Okay. Now, let's go. The battle is lost. Resistance Imba. Okay. Let me go back to another video for you guys. Okay. Here goes another one. Okay. Me and okay. Sig Zayer. And I'm going to be the red. And... Zig Zire will be the yellow versus Oleg Mahinko and Bot Bim Netak. So yes, here goes. Okay, let's fast forward a bit. Okay. Alright. Uh-huh, scout on the base. See what they have. Okay, and then Fortress is so useless. As you guys can see. So useless Fortress. 
Okay, and then I'm having my assaults over there, and I'm going for HQ4. Okay. Alright, so yes. Okay. HQ4. I'm going to somehow obliterate those assaults. That fortress is somehow too, too slow. Okay, got destroyed after two porcupines or three. Okay, and here goes. Hawks are now going to be produced and... Ho ho! And also a special vehicle factory for chameleons, okay? Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to have to somehow protect the base of Zigzawyer. Okay. Alright. And... Ooh! Six minutes before the seventh minute mark. There's already a space system. Okay, now let's see what I got here. How can I somehow detest that? How can I contest that super weapon? I got like three Jaguars, one Parcupine, two Hawks. So yeah. And then the other guy does have this. Vertex in the Thors. Two Rocket Towers right over there. And then walls, uh, walls can be built right there also. He did nothing else as Zigzawyer was saying. Okay, and then I'm going to use my going to use my you know my my hawks because you know they're with machine guns okay now i'm going to use the hawks here goes hawks to anti-air okay almost dead for versus those two anti-air and then ooh, the damage of my two hawks okay now if i have like four hawks right there or six hawks the outcome will not be any different okay so let's see here if i can somehow Contest that. Okay, how can I destroy that nuclear or that space system? Oh <laughs> Space system Resistance Imba Oh no Okay Resistance Imba Resistance faster <laughs> Okay I got like this much right here got zero hawks whatsoever because it got space strike and pretty much that's it GG at this point in time. Yeah, because yeah, look at this. How can I attack this when there's like walls right here? Thor's also from the blue and uh, Yeah, even if I went for uh, all Hawks only it's not gonna work out Okay, because two anti-air almost killed one Hawk and then the vertex of the blue player will also help out with the defense Before I can even deal damage to the space system or destroy it Okay so, resistance imba! Okay, so let's go to the other guys. Okay, let's go to the other video. Alright, and here goes. We got the same enemy, but this time it's gonna be the bad luck map. Okay, and as you guys can see, naval battles are epic here. But let's see what will happen, okay? Let's see. Okay, and so I'm going to gather those containers like the normal, okay? HQ3 from... Uh, uh, no, uh, okay, so shipyards are gonna be used, of course. All right, there it goes. We're gonna got, gather those containers and let's see now. All right, so pretty much uh, Zigzawyer will uh, capture 50-50 container because uh, resistance imbalance. Okay, so yes, there it goes. Supply center is here. Okay, and then a power plant for me to go HQ4. This guy has HQ3. Added two more supply, going for Avia. Meanwhile, that useless fortress, okay. So what can contend that? Nothing. Okay. Because uh, that fortress is, you know, so slow. Alright, so there goes. I'm going HQ4. Okay. Hawks are now going to be used. I'm going to have to somehow get rid of that fortress before it destroys that power plant from Zig. Uh, from Zig Zayer. Okay, and let's see here. Oh, was not able to scout because it got destroyed. And now, I'm going to expand my base right here. Expand. Okay. Let's see here. Vikings. Okay. It's not going to be, uh, you know, there's like four Vikings right there. But a ton of torpedo platforms. Okay. So, this alligators are not going to get past those. Okay. Because as, uh, you know, like maneuvers, right? Maneuvers. Okay. Now, let's see here. Will this blue player have... A good defense right there be ready in time by the way I got like a scouts hidden right here okay to see if there will be any pending attack and now torpedo platform being built one torpedo platform is already ready and there goes okay 
So technically those alligators are gonna be destroyed, okay? That's normal. Okay, and then gun tower right here to see if there will be any upcoming attack on land from the green player. And now I'm preparing anti-air as I will just go nuclear, right? Mmm. Resistance is fast. Okay, so ooh, four. Uh, three vertex level 5 HQ <laughs> Okay construction yard right here adding more anti-air Okay I'm also adding more anti-air a power plant So I'm still waiting for my uh, HQ to go level 5 there goes that scout from this uh, Blue player Zig Zyre is still uh, producing those alligators that he lost okay meanwhile this player is just going to uh, defend Okay, because bad luck, as you always know, all right, is actually a very close map from both these players right here, and very far map. You know, the distance is far from both the blue and the red to battle it out. Okay, and you need also cross this location right here in the middle to get over to the other side to attack him if you're using land. Okay, now let's see what will happen here. Okay. Now, Sig will also add Avia Factory onto his arsenal, okay, for Hawks, okay, that's uh, purely normal, okay, let's go, okay, let's see here, uh-huh, no, nothing crazy, nuclear gonna be built after uh, having anti-air to defend myself with, okay, let's see if uh, we can defend, okay, so yes, I'm just saving for a nuclear, and then now, nuclear is ready, let's see, one hawk is here, and uh, pretty much this blue player, you know, the green player is defending him over this ocean, so nothing can like attack this green or this red player, even if I messed up chameleon, porcupines, and jaguars, it's not gonna make it in time, okay, so the best option would be for me to go nuclear myself, okay. Now I'm also producing Hawks here so that I can stop the uh, space if, if, if in any case he will go, which he will. Okay, let's see now. Okay, let's fast forward a bit. Okay, here goes that scout. Ton of Vikings right here. Uh-huh. And, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. oh, wow. Resistance Imba! <laughs> Okay, so that space system just launched, okay, and then I'm pretty much dead because resistance is too fast and I canceled the nuclear that I got over here. Okay, I've switched to uh, common gold uh, defense boost. Okay, and then those vertex are coming over here. Okay, I got like anti-air, most of my anti-air got destroyed even though I spread them enough, okay. And there goes my Hawks also going to get wrecked by 3 Vertex because 3 Vertex can one-shot a Hawk. Now those Vertex are now going after the uh, power plants that I have. Let's see how Zig Dyer is doing. He's uh, going for a Chameleon, uh, Jaguar, Porcupine. Okay. And he has also Hawks to help me defend versus those Vertex. Okay. So pretty much we don't have anything to attack this okay now even if i go for full hawks okay full hawks again full hawks at this time i may have like 12 hawks in total i cannot destroy that because there's like simply more vertex there to defend okay three anti-air can one shot kill a hawk okay so yeah if that's come up then all hawks destroyed along with the vertex okay i mean along um, with those vertex it can destroy it. Okay, now I'm going to rebuild my base as you guys can see right here I'm rebuilding my base right there Okay, expanding my base those vertex are like super annoying. Oh, and then the green player Going for a space system also. Oh, no. So how how are we going to stop this and this? Hmm how? Resistance too strong. Oh, no. Okay, so yeah, even if me and Zig went for Avia, we cannot stop that, okay? With that many on the way, uh, if this was destroyed, he will simply add more anti-air and rebuild it again. Okay, now let's see how this plays out. Okay, so I'm just going to rebuild my base. Okay, and those vertex are like destroying it. Okay, here goes. Hmm, 
Okay, so Zig tried to do the uh, the normal thing to do, which was to go for Jaguars, okay, porcupines, and we don't have enough time because that space system can be made faster than that of upgrading the special vehicle factory to level 3 for chameleons. Okay, here goes. So, yeah, there goes those rocker towers. Okay, barely managed to finish. Okay, one was able to make it. However, they're going to be destroyed since uh, those the number of those Jaguars. Okay, now this is going to be destroyed, okay, due to the lack of defense. Okay, that's actually nice. Very good. Okay, Zig Zyre managed to destroy that because the distance from this yellow guy, from Zig, and the green is not really that far. It's very close. Okay, very close. Alright, now let's see over here. I got space striked again. And as you guys can see, I'm just rebuilding that uh, nuclear. And Zig Zyre, how can you stop this? No, you cannot stop that. Okay, but we're still gonna try, right? Never give up. Okay, so let's check. So if he had tons of alligators, look at this base. You cannot destroy that. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so yes. Here goes. Resistance imbalance. Too strong. Okay, here goes. My nuclear is now being built. And yet again, it's going to be destroyed by those vertex. Oh, no. Oh. Ah, too strong. Yeah, I was not able to cancel it due to the lag. So that's my bad right there. That's my fault. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, now Chameleon is going to be on the way. The nuclear is being rebuilt right there, even farther. Okay, and there's like rocket towers right there. Okay, so um, as some guys mentioned, you know, Jaguar Chameleon Porcupine to stop the space, right? So we're going to do just that. Zig Zyre will try it. Let's see if he can win. Okay, so obviously that space will not get destroyed. The alligators will be used to defend my base and it's going to be nuked again or space striked again. The HQ is going to get destroyed. Okay, that's quite normal. And here goes Chameleon Jaguars Porcupines. Okay, with like anti-air. No, anti-air, rocket towers, bunker, cyclone useless. That cannot get inside the fog, right? It can't. It shouldn't be. Okay, ooh, however, it managed to get inside the fog and those rocket towers fired. Okay, two more cyclones are going to be here. There's like porcupines right there. Okay, and again. Ooh, rocket towers. I thought cyclones should not get inside the fog, right? Mm. Okay, now to be fair, there's only two porcupines there. Alright, here guys. Zig Zyre will now go ahead and destroy those rocket towers. Oh, there's four more over here. Okay, so anything that is revealed by that cyclone will be destroyed by those rocket towers. So, yeah. Hmm. Resistance too strong, Chameleon Iba. <laughs> okay, so I'm still gonna have to try my luck and somehow survive this, you know, like do my best to win. But I'm just gonna get spaced again and again by this guy. And as you guys can see, Resistance too strong. Very one-sided battle, winning in favor of the Resistance. Okay, there it goes. Mm -hmm. Rocket Tower, Cyclone useless. Cyclones never get inside the fog, right? Mm. Cyclone, there. <laughs> Cyclone, don't get inside the fog. Mm. As many players say, right? Cyclone useless. <laughs> okay, though he got like a ton of alligators here, but look at that. A ton of these alligators will, could not even destroy this many torpedo platforms, not to mention there's like Vikings right over there. And pure camping only. Walls, rocket towers, cyclones. Okay, it's his time to get space strike. And yeah, my god, so hard. It's super in favor of the resistance at this point. Okay, how to stop this? How to stop the resistance from having two uh, nuclear? Wow. So how? Tell me how. <laughs> Comment down below what are your thoughts into this video is guys, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay, and now he's going to go for it. Okay, you, you guys might wonder why not use the alligators, right? Okay, here goes. We're going to use the alligator. Okay, there's like Vikings right there. Okay, Vikings. Okay. Let's see if those alligators can win. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, alligator imba. <laughs> alligator imba. Super strong alligators. Okay. So technically, that's gonna be it for this video. You know, like, how are we supposed to stop this? Okay, is this normal? This is normal? Hmm. I don't think so. Okay. So, how should we play? Obviously, if Zig Zayer did not go for the ocean, he's gonna get wrecked by those Vikings. Okay. And this guy just rocket towers, walls, bunkers, and cyclones to get inside the, the fog imba, the chameleon imba. And then look. Mm, see? Resistance imba. Resistance too strong. Hmm. Okay. That's how it is at high ranks, guys. Okay. I'm just showing you guys how it is at high ranks. Okay? Resistance say, eh, huh? Resistance imba, huh? Hmm. Resistance imba. Okay, there goes Space Strike. Well, GG. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. And again, if you'd like the video, please do give this video a thumbs up. Okay? No insults were meant on this video, okay? I did not mean any insults, okay? This is purely for entertainment purposes only and for the developers to check the balance. And of course, leave a comment down below what are your thoughts into this video. And of course, do subscribe on my channel, turn on the notification to all notification so that you will not miss an upload or stream from my channel. And of course, guys, you know, tell me what's your honest opinion on how the resistance can stop that tactic of the confederation the confederation is weak at high ranks as the confederation say right as they claim okay and the resistance is just too strong as the confederation say all right so yeah all right so again thanks for watching have a great day and good luck with your battles bye now